Sky gazers are going to be stopped in their tracks during Sunday night as the super blood wolf moon is primed to appear. It promises to be some of the best cosmic views of the year. To break down what it all means, a super moon is when the moon is at its closest point in its orbit with Earth, and it can appear 17% larger than usual. The blood part of it is when the moon appears that reddish hue because of the eclipse that is happening. And the wolf moon, well, that's the name of the first full moon of the year that happens in January. So we have the sun and the moon and the earth all lined up. I have sort of a, a model here I can show you. So as the moon's going around the earth, uh, it passes into the shadow of, of the earth. And what you're going to see on Sunday night is it's going to look like a bite is being taken out of the moon around uh, quarter to 11 at night. And then the moon is going to be completely cast in shadow, almost looks like it disappears from our sky. Yeah, so here's what it's going to look like. We're going to see the uh, first part of the shadow making its way across the moon at about 1030. By about 1140, we get into that total eclipse phase. And by 1212, we're going to hit the maximum eclipse. And you're going to see that reddish hue casting that shadow out over the moon. And then it'll start to transit back over the surface. And then we'll get back to business as we head into about 2 o'clock in the morning as the eclipse is done. So you're going to have to stay up late and you're going to have to find a clear sky. There may be a little bit of lake effect producing some cloud cover, but I think we'll have a pretty good shot at it here in the GTA.